Name's Mike Rosano. Uh, me and my wife own the water and hole in Felsmere. Time, quality, and price. So we tried to keep a balance of what we were looking at. We didn't want to break the bank just on the kitchen, but also needed to get up and running so we can start earning some revenue. Yeah, most of them were like three to six months, where Phoenix was four to six weeks, and they stuck to it. Actually, through social media and Google, there's like four food trailer places up here in Orlando. We looked at three of them. The first one was in somebody's backyard, so I don't recommend that one. Phoenix was the only one that seemed straightforward, was the fastest and the most affordable for us. Everything was straightforward. Ace was good. Owner was great. They gave us a little military discount, so keep that in mind when you're looking. I was Air Force. My wife was Marine Corps. So yeah, everything was good to go. We were bartenders basically for fun. I'm a network engineer during the day, and we run a restaurant and a bar at night. So redoing a restaurant kitchen is more expensive than a food trailer, which is how we went the food trailer route. Three or four years. And then we were in the military. We learned how to drink in the military. Then we learned how to pour. We're looking to cook. We like making people happy. And that's our whole reason for being in the bar restaurant business. When you make good food and give good drinks and you see people smiling and enjoying themselves, that's what we look forward to. The money part comes and goes. That's not the main thing. It's the main thing of community and making people happy. So we have half our shop is a bait shop. And there's five lakes out there in Felsmere that are rated in the top five bass fishing in the country. So when you come in, the Felsmere Fishing Headquarters is on the east side of the building and our bar and restaurant on the west side. We're right in between three of the five lakes. We've got a lot of airboats, a lot of bass fishermen, a lot of ranchers, a lot of work in community. So we want to keep elevated bar food that's affordable. So that's what we're catering to, is basically the hometown. Everybody comes in, enjoys themselves, everybody gets along, has a meal with the family. We're specializing in barbecue. We're the only ones within about 10 miles that have barbecue. So we'll have pulled pork, smoked brisket, and smoked sausage every day. We do a shrimp boil. We got cheesesteak, burgers. We're doing fresh cut fries, shoestring onion rings. It's not just your run of the mill. Order from a food service and, and serve it. We're in there cooking and we're trying to make it taste good. There's two owners in the bait shop. They run that. They run guide services out of there. So we work hand in hand with them, trying to uh, be there for when they get out the water. You know, if they got early guide, when they get out for lunch, where they're serving. Late guy when they get out for dinner we're their servant so everything will start and finish right there so we are open serving beer and wine we don't have kegs yet our line should be cleared out tomorrow that's our whole kitchen we're running the whole kitchen out of this trailer so we're always looking to expand given the industry i mean you can't just stay stagnant probably in the future maybe looking at another trailer that way we can take the trailer to events and still have our kitchen at our restaurant right now if we do that then we have to close our kitchen part so we want to keep everybody happy maybe take a mobile kitchen and a mobile bar in the future to events instead of just being in Felsmer. If you want it done and you want it done fast and right, come to Phoenix. Just do it. We've been waiting two or three years, thinking about opening our own, working for other people. Take the risk and do it. Everybody wants to eat, everybody wants to drink. If you do it right, you will be successful. Don't worry about your bottom line, it'll come. It's not about that, it's about making people happy. That's what hospitality means.